All right, guys. Hi. Whoa, look, you can see. Oh, how's my hair look from the back? It's great. Uh, hello. It is the morning after the Twitch party, and I have to leave. It's noon, 15, and I was supposed to check out 15 minutes ago. All my stuff is packed. Uh, I was also running a little bit late this morning. I mean, listen, should I have gotten up early? Yes. Did I get up early? Kind of yes, but I did spend like an hour in bed watching YouTube videos and doing nothing because it is vacation and I'm trying to like not feel like I went on vacation and worked a bunch because I've been editing videos every day and vlogging and trying to spend time with people. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna spend an hour in bed, which I now regret because now I'm 15 minutes after the checkout, but front desk was cool with it. Uh, here's the reason, part of the reason why I'm also late. I have to figure out how to get all of JP's tuck stuff, like, into this bag. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I don't understand how all of this, I have to put it all, this is like, it's like making a Christmas display case. I have to figure out how to get all this crap into this. So now I'm gonna have to figure all that out and take it back for him because his flight was really early this morning and we have to take it back today. So I'm gonna try to figure it out so I can help him out with that and figure out what I'm gonna do. But I packed all my stuff, no problem. I got all my dresses to return the rental, it's fine, I got ready. Also, I know that I've worn this in three vlogs in the last week. I didn't mean to, but here's the thing. Uh, one, I don't know if you guys do this, do you test drive your outfits? Because I test drive my outfits. So I wanted to wear it to make sure it was like comfy, did it actually keep me warm? So that was the first time you saw it. The second time you saw it was the time that I actually needed to wear it, which was when we were in Colorado. Third time is now, and I packed all my stuff, and this is like a big poofy vest, it's got fur and stuff, and I have things to take home with me that I needed room in the suitcase. So I had to take all the, that's why I'm wearing like jeans and big socks and boots, and I'm wearing a tank top, and a long sleeve shirt because it took the most things out of my suitcase. So logistically, wearing the most clothes on the way home makes it easier to pack more stuff in my suitcase. So that's why I'm wearing it again. Apologies, I normally don't recycle outfits. Whatever, it's fine. So I'm gonna figure out how to pack all this crap up and then I have to lug all of this by myself down to the lobby and then go grab lunch. And I have like four hours to kill until I have to get on the airplane. Uh, I am gonna try to probably in the airport um, find a place to edit the video. I might do it on the plane. So you might get two videos in a row or like I might try to space them out just to like make up for them because I get back at midnight. It's a four hour plane ride. I might try to edit on the plane, but I probably can't upload them. So we'll see what ends up happening, but, um, things might be a little wonky, but I'm still doing it. I still have had one for every day. So ha, still nailing it. All right. All right. So I'm going to do this and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Uh, now we're recording. Yay. I just walked through the mall for the first time <laughs> being like, I'm not going to care what people think about vlogging. And wasn't recording. And I wasn't recording the entire yes. time. But, you Hi. Want Sean. Hi. Ritz Plays. Yep. YouTube.com slash Ritz Plays. Twitch, Twitch Twitter, Twitter, all this YouTube. stuff. Yeah. Um, we're here at the mall because mm. I had some time to kill after I took JP's tux back. Yes. So we went to lunch, had yes. boat sushi. Yes, we did. It was, it was awesome. so good. It was on a boat. You don't even like sushi. No, don't. <laughs> but it was a boat. It was so, a boat, So, like, though. we went. And I don't have that in St. Louis. No. So we did that. And then we came to the mall. Yes. And we walked around. And now I'm going to show you when this is done. Oh, well, you told them that, too. Yes. But we saw this automated robot yeah. called Pepper, which is like a customer service like little robot. And it yes. does selfies with you. And it tells you about restaurants. And dances, it takes, it games. dances. It takes your survey. Yeah. So we saw one upstairs. And it was like swarmed with little children. And yeah. I was like, I need to get on that, the little tiny people. And then you got sniped by a child. And then I got sniped by a child, the <laughs> second one. So then we finally found a third one. And everyone yes. was walking away. And so we got to like see it. And it's Do so cute. And it was so good. And then I got surrounded by children and they're like all right and then we left because we're like we're the biggest of children in this room <laughs> yes so we left but then we went to vans yes and i bought something for bill because i couldn't not buy these check this out whoa a little unicorn a glitter there's glitter rainbows. there's like rainbows yes. and all this stuff so awesome. i bought her those because i couldn't help myself they were too cute so now oh, uh, 
It's about the end of the day ish. Yep. So I gotta go back to my hotel, mm -hmm. get my bags, get in an Uber, go to the airport, get on my flight, four hour flight home, land at midnight. And work tomorrow. And then work tomorrow. <laughs> but it's been a good vacation. We yeah. ended it with friendship time. Yeah. Yay. So it's good. It's fun. Hope you guys had a great day enjoying Vlogmas, all that good stuff. I'm out in public, guys, vlogging. Oh my god, look how brave I am. Um, yeah. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Take a selfie with it. A selfie? Yeah. Great. I love selfies. I bet. Is he gonna let you do it? To be fun, I'll let you decide which pose I make. Which pose? <laughs> I can do a classic pose to Super Pepper or Mimica Sane Bolt. Sane Bolt? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, excellent choice. Do you want to be honest? No, you do it. Likes. Get your smartphone ready and come beside me to take a selfie. What side are you ready? Yep. Yep. Got it. Okay, let's start. Come next to me to take your picture. last part of the vlog in the car so I can talk to you while I'm on my way home from the aeropuerto because it is a little bit after midnight it's like 12 20 um, central time now so I'm going to be editing two vlogs as soon as I get home because I don't want to fall behind and miss a day but that means in order to catch up that you will get this vlog in the morning and then you'll get another one from the actual day at night to keep up because now then I, if I just did one now and then use this for tomorrow and then I continue to back up then you would get like day 11 on December 13th and then it would be mix matched and all crazy and I don't want to do that um, because I don't want to do that so you're gonna get extra stuff but it is midnight and this is my life and so it's midnight and I'm going home and I'm gonna work for a few hours then go to bed and then be up tomorrow for Monday to start work and in the next few days I have to work normal do all the laundry from being gone catch up on normal life things home laundry bills etc but then also get all my work squeezed in and stuff so that I'm my plan is to pick up boo earlier than I normally do, not early so she misses school, but earlier than normal to spend some time together uh, before I have to go out of town again. Um, and then as soon as I get back from helping with um, the role play live show um, and the drop frame show, I will be back and I have her for a full entire week and I'm so excited about it because with just the holidays and then me going on vacation and a couple other things, it's been a little bit of a different schedule than normal. Um, by the end of the month, it'll have evened out to like her being with me half the time and her dad half the time, which is about normal. Um, but it's weird when you're kind of in these like transition kind of crazy weeks because of her dad's travel and my travel and then the holiday schedules when you have parents that aren't together they have to have holiday schedules so that you know everyone gets to share turns and holidays and things like that so I'm really excited honestly for like the next week to just be over so that we can start all the really fun stuff that we have planned for the holidays baking and going to see Christmas lights and all kinds of fun stuff and I'm really just excited for that I always have these uh, moments when I travel on airplanes where it's quiet and I'm usually traveling alone because I'm not traveling with anybody and so I'm traveling alone and it's time where I just like collect my thoughts and think about things and for the first time in usually about a period of you know five days to a week I get to kind of decompress and not be like on so I had that moment on the plane and I've actually started getting out. You guys had heard me say multiple times that I always sleep on planes. The last couple times that I've been on planes, I haven't slept at all. Um, so it's been a little bit different the last few times being, 
I don't know, just like sitting down, having time to think, which I normally don't do. So I always come off planes, I feel a little bit somber. And not that it's a bad thing, it's not like I get depressed when I'm on planes. It's more that I get off and I kind of like, okay, I get this. Like, I know where I'm at, I know what I need to do, I know how I feel about things. And it's just a time to collect thoughts. So it's been a good vacation. I got to spend time with my friends. I got to see my coworkers. I got to celebrate, you know, with our holiday party and get dressed up. But I also got to stay in pajamas for a few days and hang out in Colorado. Um, and now I have the next week where it's going to be busy, 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 busy with work, prepping stuff for Pack South. Uh, the next few days are in ultimate crunch time and then um, getting down to Texas to help with the set design for both the Drop Frame show, which I'm also appearing on for Twitch reasons, and then I will be helping with the role play show that's on Saturday, and then I booked an early flight home on Sunday so I could just get home and get boo and have fun and kind of get into the holiday spirit. It's been a crazy month, and I do apologize also for the last couple of vlogs being not really of superb quality because I've been editing in the 10, 15 minutes that I can or uploading from hotels when I can because I've been traveling and going to parties and trying to spend time with friends. Um, so I'm going to make a conscious effort in the next few to actually talk to you guys and include things that I'm doing, make a conscious effort to uh, be more entertaining, I guess you could say. Not while I'm driving and not paying attention to the camera, but at least just talking. So I will do that. Again, I'm so sorry. Thank you to everybody who's continuing to watch all of these for Vlogmas. It's been exciting. I've had a couple of people reach out to me on Twitter just saying like, hey, thanks for doing it. Love the fact that you're uploading vlogs more often and we get to see what your life is like on a daily basis which you should know by now means that my life is all over the place. Um, so thanks guys for hanging in there. It's also been an interesting day. As you guys saw earlier, I spent some time with Ritz Plays. We had a good conversation about YouTube and what uploading has been like lately. I don't know if you guys pay attention. I lose about 200 subscribers every time I upload, which surprisingly doesn't really bother me. I look at it as more of an opportunity to use the channel for people who are active and I'd rather have a closer viewer to sub ratio than just having a bunch of people who aren't interested in the content. Um, I also do know that there's that YouTube bug that's just, it's happening to a lot of people, so it's fine. But um, I'm happy with, you know, the views and everything that I'm getting on the videos. So thanks everyone for hanging out there with me. Uh, while my life has been pretty crazy and I'm looking forward to showing you guys what I'm doing over the holidays. It's going to be interesting, I think, and I'm a little nervous, but I'm also a little excited. So I don't know. We'll see what happens going into the holiday season and with YouTube uploading errors and losing subscribers and whatever, but I'm excited because every time I've ever done a consistent program in December when I my channel first blew up when I did the Minecraft videos um, or now when I'm doing Vlogmas, I feel like it kind of re-energizes me going into 2017 or going into the next year, which is kind of what this is doing. And I've been watching a lot of other people's vlogs and wanting to come up with more creative ways to show you guys what my life is and it also energizes me to get out and actually do things instead of sitting at home it's like I want to do something exciting for you guys but also the more I do it the more I realize that me myself am getting out more or that I'm realizing that even very mundane things like going to the grocery store can be fun and I can make it something entertaining and I don't have to kind of sit back and be boring. So yeah, it's going to be a good rest of Vlogmas. Sorry for the somberness. Again, I spent the entire four hours on the flight. 
uh, both watching terrible Lifetime movies, but also collecting my thoughts. And I am gonna go home, vlog, wake up tomorrow, re-energized, back from vacation, ready to do some awesome stuff, ready to hang out with my baby girl, ready to spend time with my family, ready to get things ready for the holidays, and uh, ready to get ready for the new year. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye!